Um, but I'm just enjoying hearing it and just watching stuff go on. And this a recording is really good for that because there is no audience, so except for us uh, watching the video. So they're able to bring the camera around and go up close to each person much better than if it was an actual concert. And uh, I don't know, I really enjoy just watching, you know, because they do a lot of the mixing and layering and stuff like that. So I got to watch more closely actually how they're creating all these sounds, those little echoes and little reverbs and little layers and things. And, of course, it being extremely enjoyable music as well. Mm. Um. <sighs> that was good. But I, I think I may be at a place where next time I have Nicaragua Red Honey... Uh, I might actually drink it black. Or maybe I should drink it red. Who knows? Oh, my hair is starting to almost feel dry. That is good. And I think I'm going to take a moment soon to turn off the video. But take it back to this beautiful, beautiful uh, set of beads that I love sitting here, except for the piece of tape gets stuck to it. There. Yeah, I keep that there every day. And another thing I do uh, is I keep in my pocket here my little heart. Uh, in which the we had two of them. Raven kept one, I kept one, and we'd switch them back and forth. And I might have mentioned this before, but um, I took the other one and put it on Raven's body right over her heart and taped it there for when it went through the uh, cremation oven. And uh, so if I want to especially connect with Raven. I just put my hand in my pocket and hold on to that heart. It works very well. These are all little techniques that I've done for myself. They're not techniques anyone else needs to do, but I'm sharing them anyway. I'm trying to make this, uh, as you already know, not only cope, I want to thrive through this. I don't want to just survive it. I want to thrive through it, and I want to put creativity into my process all the way through because I think this does not have to be such a, a horrible thing. Yeah, there is a horrible aspect to it when you look at it from that perspective. You know, I'm, I'm missing my, my soulmate, my partner of 38 years and there's so many layers to what that means and so many layers to why I'm grieving all of that and it doesn't take any of that away the fact that I want to also find ways to celebrate and grow and learn uh, because I also believe that I'm as I experience things in this earthly body uh, I am in some way sharing that with Raven in the form that she is in oh yes uh, that just took me to a memory uh, from yesterday, I am for sure, it's coming gradually, day by day, into my mind, into my heart, uh, and then to my mind. Um, I am, well, I knew before I was going to do paintings of Raven, but now it's coming clearer, this certain painting. I'm going to paint Raven the way she is now. Uh, and that's going to be a challenge, and it's little bits are coming to me uh, every day. Um, it's it's kind of like I'm I'm perceiving Raven a little bit by little bit as she reveals herself to me, uh, and I would say um, and my interpretation would be I'm I'm perceiving her through my heart's um, way of perceiving. 
I won't say I. That would be a metaphor if I do. Uh, so I'm perceiving Raven. She's revealing herself to my heart. And then, in turn, I'm translating that, and that's the artist's license, you might say. Uh, artist's interpretation of my heart um, perception. So there's a translation, for sure, uh, as that's a given. Uh, and then, hopefully, I will be able to translate that well enough that it somehow comes across to the viewer's eyes and and heart because uh, that's my idea is that it comes from my heart sort of to my eyes in a sense that once I painted it and I just didn't see it and hopefully to your eyes translating back to your heart uh, in some sort of a loop uh, if I achieve the desired goal um, that would be kind of cool Oh, this is kind of neat. This is this is an aspect of how amazing Raven is was after she left, after she left her body, I got in the mail a couple of little products. These are uh, you put them on your your skin. They're really high quality essential oils to affect your state of mind. And this one is called Console. That is the level of detail and the level of care and integrity Raven had for me in this case, for all of us, but in this case for me. She had things come to me after she was gone to take care of my, myself, you know, things that I would need. And I don't know. Touches my heart, you know. Touches my heart. So it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, and uh, ah, blah, blah, blah. and um, I'm gonna have visitors very, very soon. So I'm gonna turn this off and uh, start my day. Get things ready. Try and clean up this kitchen a little bit. So. Thank you everyone for uh, being part of this video and uh, warming my heart. I hope I've in turn warmed yours a little bit. So thank you very much and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye bye.